The Ohm MIDI controller is designed to work seamlessly with Livid's VJ Mixing Studio Union. Ohm ships with a pre-configured version of Union that works out of the box, but there may be times that you'll need to set up an Ohm or another MIDI device to work with Union, or you may just want a better understanding of how it all works. Connect the Ohm controller and open Union. Confirm that MIDI is coming into Union from the Ohm by opening the preferences and selecting the MIDI tab. Let's just keep this open and set up some functions here as many of Ohm's function buttons, the F buttons, are configured in this window. For this example, we are using a completely blank MIDI setup in Union to illustrate how you would set up a controller. The F1 and F5 buttons are used to move between clip banks, so let's enter their MIDI notes 43 and 42 in the clip preset number boxes. The F2 and F6 buttons are used to move between effect settings presets, and we can enter the F2 and F6 MIDI notes 45 and 44 into the controller presets number boxes. F3 is used for turning on a camera and adding it to channel A, so we'll enter note 47 into video in toggle, which will toggle the video input on and off. F7 is used for turning on the waveform, so we'll put note 46 into waveform on off. F4 is used as a shift style button in combination with the clip bank to add a movie to a layer. What that means is if you hold down F4, then trigger a clip, it's added as a layer rather than a video channel to A or B. F4 outputs note number 49, so we'll put that in the add video layer. The F8 button is used to turn layers off, one per button press, so we'll enter 48 into the remove video layer box. F9 is used to turn all effects off on the current channel, so we'll put 55 in the all effects off box. Finally, F10 is used as a shift style button, much like F4, but for adding masks to a video channel, and is also useful for shifting the functions of the transform buttons next to the crossfader, turning them into auto crossfade buttons. Put 54 in the shift clips to alpha channel. Now we can close the window and continue configuring Union. Next, we'll assign the triggers. This is pretty easy. Click on the options buttons on trigger 1 and press the MIDI learn button, then press the trigger 1 button on the ohm. Continue with this until all triggers are assigned. Assigning the transform button is similar. Click on the Options button for the crossfader and click on the Transform A MIDI Learn button. Then press the button on the left of the crossfader. Make sure the MIDI is enabled for Transform. Do the same for Transform to B. Assigning MIDI to the knobs and sliders is even easier. Just press the MIDI Learn button next to the slider and move the slider. Do this for each knob and slider. Layer opacity is assigned to knob C1 and fade to black is assigned to C2 and are also assigned with nearby MIDI learn buttons. To assign clip triggers, turn the clip bank to the learn mode, then clicking on a thumbnail in the bank, then pressing the corresponding button on the ohm. Do this for all buttons. Now your ohm is set to control union.